Hi, right, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I make a tomato sauce, a chunky tomato sauce, and very delicious, and how to make a homemade pizza from scratch. So I have another video how I made the dough, and uh, so you can watch that for how to make the dough. It's very easy. And just now I'm going to show you how I make the a chunky tomato sauce. So you need the whole tomatoes. You need whole peeled tomatoes. Then you're going to, you're just gonna, you don't need any special tools, you're just gonna use your hands and crush the tomatoes. Anything that, I like to just throw away any of the green, anything like the stems or It will all, as you cook it, it'll kind of come together and then it'll be like um, evenly distributed. So here's like a stem and I'm going to just throw that out. Okay. Then we're going to season it. Just some onion powder. Actually, this is garlic powder. This one's the onion powder. Some black pepper. Oregano. Basil. And you can 
just use a fork and kind of break it up a little bit more. So this sauce is ready. It's to go on the oven, to, to go on the stove, and I'll cook it. I'll bring it up to a boil and then I'll just lower it down and cook it for 20, 30 minutes or even longer. The longer you cook it, it'll get thicker. So let me put this on the oven and then I'll show you how I do the pizza. Got that on the oven, on the stove, I keep saying oven. And that's gonna come to a boil and then I'll just I'll put it on low and just keep it there for about a half hour or longer to thicken. Okay, so let's get right into making the pizza. Put these spices away. So you're just going to need your dough that you bought at the store or that you made, just some flour. And in the oven I have a stainless steel round, um, actually it's the top of a pot that I have, a heavy duty pot and it's the lid and I use that to put the pizza on. I don't like any of the painted ones, the black ones, or with the coatings because they come off. So get the dough out of here. This is just a bag, a food bag. The oven is on already, set to the highest temperature that I have, which is 480. Okay, the sauce came up to a boil, and I'm just going to give it a stir, and I lower the temperature. I've got it uncovered because I just want it to thicken up a little bit more.
if you want it to come out perfectly round, then you have to form it into a ball and set it and let it rest for a little while. And then you can, when you go to work the dough, it'll be perfectly round. But I don't want to roll it up into a ball now and form it into a ball because I don't mind this shape. And when I put it into the oven, I'm just going to adjust it. So that's ready to go into the oven. I could put the sauce and cheese or toppings, whatever, on it now and then put it in the oven. But I'm going to put it in and just kind of bake it this way. This way it's extra crispy on the bottom. I'll show you how I get this into the oven. Lightly oil the pan that I'm using. It's a stainless steel pan. And I lightly oiled it. And I'm going to get the bottom crispy. I can cook everything at one shot, but this way I know for sure it's going to be nice and crispy on the bottom. So I want to prop, I'm going to prop up this peel just to this height, just to make it a little easier. So I'm going to find something that's that height. I guess that's close enough. That plus... Ooh, a couple of dishes. I used last time but this is this this is pretty good so I just propped it up because it'll it'll make it easier to slide it in I'll actually lift it in So got that on there, and I'm going to put it in and get it nice and crispy. <clears throat> the whole process of cooking it is going to take about 15 minutes. So that's just one way I put it in the oven, sometimes I put it on the peel, or in this case it's just a cutting board, and put flour or cornmeal, and then I can just shake, I make 
prepare the whole pie with sauce and cheese, toppings, whatever. And I slide it right off. But I wanted to get a more round shape, so this is a little bit smaller. So by just putting it in the way I did before, I can fill up the whole disc shape. So while that's coming, getting crispy, then when it's when I feel it's ready, I'll pull it out probably after maybe five minutes. Then I'll put the sauce on it and cheese, and then we'll put it back in. Okay, so let's see how the sauce is doing. I'll bring it over. Okay, it's nice and thick, and it's going to get even thicker and all the flavors will come together. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll show you how it how the the dough comes out of the oven after it's crispy and how we're going to top it. So I'm going to wait about 5. I'll be back in about 5 minutes. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the oven and we'll start putting the toppings on. So we know for sure it's going to be crispy because we we uh, baked it ahead of time. So I'm going to choose the top actually as the bottom now. It looks more crispy on the top. And let's put some sauce on on the dough. Now the, the sauce has come together pretty thick. I could keep it on longer, but I just want to get to making the, the pizza. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese.
some Italian mozzarella cheese. We got some Romano cheese in here and provolone. It's a kind of a blend. I don't want the board to get too hot, so. And I uh, just put on a dish. So we got this here. We got the cheese on. Let's do a few more toppings. Put some pepperoni on. So we got half pepperoni and half with some hot peppers. Okay, let's put it in the oven and, and it'll be done. And overall, this whole in the oven takes 15 minutes. Okay, so when that's done, I'll take it out and show you the finished pizza. Okay, so it's been about 14 minutes, close to 14 minutes, and I'm going to take the, the pizza out. So I cooked it about 7 minutes without any sauce on it, the dough. And then I took it out, put the sauce and cheese on it, and I put it in the oven for another 7 minutes. So let's take it out after the total of 14 minutes.
So here we go. And let's have a look at the bottom to see if it's crispy. Yep. So it's actually a little less than 14 minutes. If I kept it in a little longer, it'll be get just a, pin, a little bit more darker. And I like to just put, I like to squeeze some lemon onto it. So in less than around 14 minutes from start to finish, you have a nice homemade pizza. Now if you want it really perfectly round, you have to form the, bowl, the dough bowl in round shape, set it to the side for maybe a half hour or 15 minutes so it relaxes and then you can just get a better shape, but to me I didn't, I didn't mind. so. And I just make, I like to make sure it's crispy, which it is. I put extra sauce and I put the different toppings. And where's that? Sprinkle a little more Parmesan cheese on top. So I'm going to put a little bit more again. And that's a nice homemade pizza from scratch. Hope you enjoy that and thanks for watching.